arrested, I should say, excuse me. 12 year old girl recovering after she was shot in the leg Tuesday night on Grand Rapids Southwest side. Fox 17's Michael Martin was out in that neighborhood this afternoon where families there are saying they are just tired of all this recent violence. Michael. Yeah, guys, good afternoon. Just weeks after a two year old was shot in the arm near Burton and Union. Now this 12 year old girl recovering from a gunshot wound to the leg. And while police say she's doing well and she might even be released from the hospital tonight, families we spoke to in the area now concerned about the safety of their own children. Because I was outside with my brother and my mom and we just heard a shot and then we just heard cops just coming down. That gunshot hitting a 12 year old girl in the leg Tuesday in a neighborhood on Grand Rapids southwest side. The whole neighborhood went down there and the cops just told everybody to stay back because a little girl got shot. Fox 17 spoke with several neighbors in the area Wednesday, none of whom wanted to be identified. Our children play out here every day. There's at least 20 of kids on the block that play all together. And for that to happen like that, come down the street, it's very disappointing and upsetting, very much so. The neighbors beyond frustrated at what they see as a recent spike in gun crimes throughout the area. It's going to be more scary for them to come out and play now, which one of my grandsons said, I'm not playing in front yard no more, Grandma. Me and my daughter just talked about, my, you know, we have to have them be here in the front and do not let them even ride their bikes down the street anymore. Last month, a two-year-old girl was shot in the arm while riding in the car with her father just a few miles away near Burton and Union. Because I grew up in this neighborhood and it was like we could be out here till midnight and, no and nothing happened. And just this every year it just gets worse. Families in the area just hopeful this sort of violent incident doesn't happen again in their neighborhood. Everybody on the street grew up together and they got kids and they got grandkids. I got grandkids. And it's just, there's a lot of kids on this street, and it's, it's sad to hear that. They, we don't know if they're going to come back and do it again, or you know how the people do retail, to retaliate all the time, so God knows. Yeah, and so again, the girl injured in Tuesday's shooting expected to be released from the hospital today. And police told me this afternoon that they continue to speak with witnesses and follow up on several leads. Now, if you do have any information about Tuesday's shooting, you're, of course, asked to contact the Grand Rapids Police Department. For now, live in downtown Grand Rapids, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.